Hi, today I'm going to go over something pretty useful when it comes to testing your code in C. So let's say you have a block of code that you want to test the functionality for. In this case, I have the addition function right over here. And I want to test that it properly adds two values x and y. Of course, it doesn't work because I'm subtracting instead of adding. But that just represents like I messed up somewhere in my block of code. I messed up the logic somewhere. So I could test it like this. Equals percent D. Of course, for simple problems um, like this, like addition, it doesn't take me too long to write a printf print statement like this, but I, I look and I'm like, okay, so this is wrong. 4 plus 5 does not equal negative 1. But if I have some more complicated block of code, then my printf statements may be a lot less clear. Maybe, like, there's some there's probably something else wrong with my code. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with it, let's say, if it's a really complicated block of code. So... You know, something's wrong, and then you can write multiple test cases. Maybe maybe your code works works for some tests, like z if I put 0 and 0, this addition function will work for 0 and 0. So maybe you're, you're testing your block of code. It works for some cases, but not for others. It's confusing, and plus you have to write all this print statements, and it, it can be pretty messy. And this print statement doesn't really tell you much, but there is something else that that's simpler. We can use assert statements. So in order to use assert, you need to include the assert.h header right up here. And what assert does is it works similar to an if statement. So an if, an if statement looks something like this. So of course, of course you know this. So an if statement, you know, it has a condition in the brackets. A condition is either true or false. You know, 5 is less than 6. That is true, no matter what. If 6 is greater than 100, that's false. So this if condition, what it does is it checks. If the condition is true, then it executes the following code. If it's not true, then it skips. Of course, we all know this. Assert statements work in a very similar matter. The way assert statements work, and this is really cool, is it'll check this condition right here. If the condition is true, then just just keep executing normally. If it's not true, however, then it'll break the code. So well, let's test our add function. So we'll test four or five. So add four or five should equal should equal nine, like that. So when I run it, look what I get. Assertion failed. Add four or five equals nine. So it tells me the exact condition that failed. It tells me the file where it failed and the line where the test is. So if I have a thousand line line of code problem divided into different files, this could be very useful because it tells me the exact file and the exact line where the thing went wrong. So then I can look at it and, be, and I can be like, well, huh, my add function doesn't work. Oh, it's because I added, I did a minus instead of a plus. Okay. That fixes it. See, now it doesn't error. Now, if I, if I put a put statement or something, all tests successful, something like that. Notice when I run it, it says all tests successful. But then let's go back to the error code. It doesn't print it. It, it breaks the code. It doesn't allow the rest of the code to continue. It checks this condition. And since this condition is false, it breaks the code right there. And that's very useful for testing because if your code is very sensitive to, to certain steps, you know, you don't want you may not want to waste your time executing every step of your program if the first step is the one that's causing it to mess up. So it's very useful because it'll tell you exactly where the mistake is, the file it's in, and it stops the code to say, hey, check this out, this is wrong. And this can be very useful for testing. So I recommend this over just a bunch of printf statements, because and especially because it can it can make the terminal kind of messy. So I hope this helps. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.